Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have a different car uh, with a different information, and we try to program it. Use the old school AutoLogic. Is the Land Rover Range Rover, and the problem in this car is that we have a coat, and this coat have to do with air fuel ratio, or um, system is too lean, or something like that. In this car, we don't have no problem now, as you see, except the airbag light and the <clears throat> the engine light. First, I want to show you what code and what kind of technical service bulletin that is available for us to do it. Okay, I have my AutoLogic here, and if you see, I have main version. I have BMW, Land Rover, Mercedes, OBD2, Rolls Royce, but you can add Volkswagen, Audi, and other stuff okay now I'm gonna go to start diagnose this autologic as you know the history of autologic okay here is what uh, we have this is the place if you need this this machine is not anymore new it's very old it's just like DRV3 uh, it, it is good for older cars but it's not for newer cars so now I have Land Rover Mercedes BMW Rolls Royce go to Land Rover and then let's see here I want to go to automatic detection okay this is for diagnostic reading VIN okay here we have everything Land Rover VIN vehicle year model engine size. I'm gonna say okay. Now, here you have the choice you have quick test, full car, you have service function, vehicle configuration. I will go to drive and programming and replacement here. And here, I'm gonna go to engine. Uh, you remember it say 4.4. Uh, 4. If you are not sure, we can go back. To tell us what engine size let me go i'm gonna go back one more i'm gonna go to start diagnose again just to be sure what engine size i'm not sure the engine size but i will get it soon automatic detection this one will give you the exactly range over what it is It is 4.4 .4 petrol transmission steering left hand. This is the car. So I'm going to say OK. Now I go to drive engine 4.4. .4. OK, component. I just want to show you what is the fault code, what we have. You see here we have a misfire and then cylinder number six misfire, misfire. Misfire also cylinder uh, P0316 revolution startup revolution, and then we have this code here P0170 bank one misfire, and we have two page and P0173 and 171 174 system tooling, uh, P0579 speed control multifunction input circuit. This is maybe for transmission. I'm gonna go back. We already show you what you need. There is a technical service bulletin for that codes. Okay, I'm gonna go back to transmission to see if there is any code because it says speed. Yeah, I see instrument cluster control module missing message. I don't know what that means for, for now or what it what it needed. Go back. Go okay. You see now here is the engine. We know what's the problem. I'm gonna go okay. Let me go back to body no go to body restrain is the airbag i want to know why that code is uh dtc is a circuit resistance above steroid p00070 one driver safety belt pre-tensioner deployment control circuit distance above steroid if you go back for a special function seat replacement new resistor new restraint no 
I don't need that. Uh, dynamic data. Seat and sensor passenger cut off. Resistance deployment control. If you look at here, you see here the problem is very simple. This is this is driver airbag. Driver airbag. It have two stage. When you go here, the reading value is 2.9. This is very good reading. 2.92 or 3 ohms. Passenger airbag is stage one. Passenger bag is stage. Passenger airbag is stage two. Means that when the airbag deploy for the ferries and then another deployment on the top of it, um, so two of them is good. So if you look here, they all good, except look here this number, 5.52, and that is driver pre tensioner. You see the driver pre tensioner, passenger pre tensioner. You see you come here, this is 5.2, which is accurate. This one is 5. Point, no, 2. Point something is accurate and the other one is not accurate. So that's why we, we pull our this code and you need to, we know it from the data that already you have a code. By just looking at the value, you know why it is really there or not. Everything's supposed to be two, 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 two. Here is five, which is have a problem. Okay, we're gonna go back. This is also not our problem. Or uh, let me go back now. I am here now in the in the Range Rover Sport. I need to program this computer based on their requirement. So what I'm gonna do, I will go to programming replacement. This procedure, this procedure requires the battery voltage to remain above 13.5 one. That means you must have a charger. Ensure suitable battery support unit is connected. Do you want to continue? Say yes. The module programming guide, module programming PDF available on the AutoLogic. There is a guide how you do the AutoLogic. If you are using the dealer tools, plug and keep continue doing it. <coughs> okay, you can get that 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 uh, guide later on. Say okay, what do you want to program? You see here, program file and order manager, PCM diesel engine, PCM petroleum engine. You understand so I don't know whether I have to go through P PCM uh, petroleum engine or program file program file and order manager okay let me see here what it say those I did them before long time ago delete it I don't need nothing I don't have anything so go back okay if there's another module to program, I go back. This is if you have any file here. I want to program petroleum, not a diesel. So now retrieving car configuration data. After that, it will tell you to send it. I believe that what's supposed to be. Is this a new module? I say no. It's not a new module. ECU PCM, hard number, configuration module, suggested program, module code, EE00Z, hardware. Everything is here. I don't know what, what to say here. Let me see what they mean by that. Send order to Autologic. Okay, order saved. Let me go back again. I just want to be sure. Is that the one? Let me see. Let me see order. And, uh, it wanna take me there, but I wanna be sure. Is that one that I needed or anything? I'm not sure. I'm gonna delete that one. You say it's already stored on your AutoLogic. Upload the order. Okay, I gotta go here. I wanna delete it. I don't wanna order this one. Okay, go back now. I wanna see what's gonna happen. PCM because uh, there is a couple of difference I don't want to just go get something that is not belong to it I need to update the computer because of uh, some uh, codes that require updated no let me see what you're gonna say next alternative program for hardware number all these are program so which one you want
go next I don't know what is what is meaning but module EE let me see what module we have there configuration module EE00Z so maybe okay this is this is a configuration code for this the hardware number is NN NNN500 451 here he say 450 so let me try to look if I can get it none of here you see <clears throat> I don't see nothing here alternative program this alternative 551 but I don't see that EE let me see again one more here EE00Z Do you have any EE00Z? No Zero EE00 Nothing So none of those Next This is the third one EE00Z EE00Z I don't see EEZ No, no, no There is nothing So I know that what I'm looking for I have to go back and then I have to click here send order yes case closed if you go to order manager you will see your order here for Land Rover you see it so I'm good now I have my 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 order I will send it to AutoLogic to give me the latest software update and I will come back to program this machine just we are going to be sure when we program it we have to program it we have to have a battery charger on and everything have to be correct I'm gonna disconnect it I will take my key with me and we're gonna go inside This is the car, by the way. Beautiful. Based on that code, this is a technical service bulletin. As you see here, they say that if you have a problem with those codes, you have to update the PCM. And this is the... the the part but they say that if you have a problem do I have to program the PCM too? no here This is uh, the PCM, the, the code P017. You say if you have this one here, you have to program the car. LT0071, yeah. Reconfigure ECM, reconfigure TCM. Okay, so now I put everything back. I put everything back. I'm going to program the PCM. So I'm going to go to update here. And I wait for the connection here to build. Now here, what do you need to do? Send order. You're going to send order, you're going to click here. Oh, I thought this is a touch screen. Send order. Okay, now I come here 
if you if you notice we have a Land Rover that I supposed to send which is here this is a Land Rover and then send it okay they say there is a place here you have to put your email address here Idris hold on okay save and then send I'm sending the order I'm taking the order from here retrieve the orders prepare sending If you don't have no internet, it will not send. So be sure you have internet. Yeah, you see now? It's coming. 60, 70, block 80, 85, da 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 da, 130 something, sending, sending 136 file. Okay, let's keep going. I'm sending the lock. I never know that it's so big, it's a big file like this. Block transfer 6.2. Here you see sending 1.26 megabyte complete successfully sent your order was being updated thank you for watching best car fixes this is the first step we're going to wait for them they send out the file and we come and we're going to update the computer if you need a transmission also we're going to do the same thing please subscribe share and like and see you in another video this is muhammad harun idris